in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the difference in uh, the different mod modules that we have here in the rack. So that way you are going to understand what, uh, when to use each one of them and uh, why I'm, I'm using them uh, right now. So basically here we have an open uh, rack. So you have two types of rack. You have the, the open ones, like you see here. There is no door here uh, in the back. As you can see, there is no door either. Everything is open. So the disadvantage of this is like if you don't have a door, like you see here, uh, anybody can get in and can take uh, things or you know unplug things. And it's going to be very messy. So if you have a door and you're the only one you know getting in, great. Otherwise, in, in other places, for instance, Kroger's or uh, Walmart or all those uh, big stores, they have the door and they have a rack with doors and also they have a, a cage. So that way everything is very secure because if you have any issue, you have any intruder there or anything like that, they can unplug things, they can take a server, you know, and walk out uh, without any restriction. So that is the, the idea why you should have a, the, the, the rack depending on the circumstances. In this case, it's a small office, there is only one guy, so it doesn't matter. But if you have a big, a, you know, a big business, multiple people, like people, you know, working 24-7, it would be better to have the, the closed one plus the, the cage on the door and all the security that you can have. Okay, now let's talk about the, um, the PDU. This is the power distribution unit. So here you have, basically you have two types of PDU or three. So the, the, the basic, basic one, usually you have only one switch and you can turn on and off everything. So I don't like these type of things because if you have, for instance, you have a cable modem, you have a firewall, you have a switch, you know, maybe you have some servers and a few, and a few other stuff, uh, and you want to power cycle just one, one thing, you have to, you know, power cycle everything, or you have to go, you know, to the back of the cable modem or go to the other, to the back of the, of the rack, as you can see here, and then you have to unplug it, you know, from the, from the side or from here. So you have multiple electrical cores, so power cores, so you have multiple cores and you have to unplug, you know, whatever you want to power cycle. So in order to avoid all that, we're going to use uh, this uh, PDU. I like them a lot. They're not very, very expensive. As usual, I am in US. If you need any tool or parts or anything like that, just let me know, I can send it to you. Otherwise, I'll try to leave in the video description so that way you can buy yourself. So here, if you want, let's say you have in the, here we have a modem, is in the port a nine. Here we have the switch in port one, the optic a fiber, so it's, it is in, in two, and then a three is the firewall. So let's say I have the seven, I have a server or something like that. So if I want to turn it on, just turn it on from here. If I want to power cycle it, you know, yeah, I turn it off from here, turn it back on. And that's it, you're, you're set. You don't have to deal with cables or anything like that. So very, very simple. Uh, the other type of um, PDUs that I was uh, talking about, because as, as I said, a uh, three. So the one is with one switch, you turn on and off everything. The second one is this one. And the third one, it will be an IP um, a power distribution unit, a PDU. So that way, we, you know, from anywhere in the world, you can uh, turn on um, and off any any electrical outlet, so that would be ideal if you if you want to do that. But those cost a lot more than this. This for a small office, the people that are you know working here, they can do it just from here. They don't need a, a something more more complex like an IP a power a distribution. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, so here we are going to talk about the, um, the patch panel. So as you can see here, we have the, the patch panel. So you have two types of patch, patch panel. You have the basic one that I don't like. This is what they had uh, already in this uh, rack. And um, I did I, I added a few other drops. And this is my, my patch panel. So the regular patch panel, you have everything in, in incorporated, incorporated already. So all the ports and everything, and you cannot change it. So you have the, all, everything is black. You have to put the labels. So by putting the labels here and each in each port in each room that you're set. But if you want different colors, because let's say that you want 
maybe red for computers, uh, yellow for printers, um, red for fonts or something like that. You know, uh, you can uh, select the, the type of port that you want and that will make your life uh, way easier. Then we have the organizers. So for, for instance, as you can see, the organizer will get you to organize all the, the, the patch cores that you have here. For instance, let's say you, here you have a, a patch panel that's not being used, but let's say that here you have a, another switch. So basically you connect the, the, patch, uh, the patch core from here to the switch, and then uh, whatever is slack that you have you know, remaining, you put it inside and that's it. So after that, what you can do is just cover it up, um, as you can see, and looks uh, much, much uh, better uh, like that. And then I'm going to show you the size. For instance, in, in this type of uh, rack, as you can see, you have the same thing. So if you want to uh, rack with organizer, with wire, uh, with cable organizers, so it will get you to keep everything, you know, uh, neat, uh, tight and, and neat. And you, when you finish, uh, you know, using it, you just close it, and it looks very, very nice and very appealing as well. So if you have to sell all your services, it's very good. Also, if you want to hire me, you want me to do it for you, I can do it as, as well. So uh, here we're going to talk about the, the switches. For instance, the switches that you have uh, here, you have usually two types of switches. You have the unmanaged and the managed uh, switches. The unmanaged is the regular. You just plug in anything and everything works. The, the managed uh, switches, the advantage of that is, let's say, if you want to uh, control the um, the traffic and you want to have more priority in one than the other one port uh, you want more priority in one port than the other ones you can do that as well also if you want to disable one port you can do that as well you don't have to come here and to unplug you know each uh, port or that you don't want to use so that is a good thing now let's talk about uh, for instance the, the trays uh, here so if you want to use the if you want to install a trace in a in a rack so basically you have a Main, mainly, you have three types of trays. You have the, the one unit is this height, as you can see here. So you see the 27, 28, 29. So these are units. So each each measurement that you see here is one unit. So here you have the the tray. So one uh, one unit usually is for small stuff, as you can see, you know, a firewall, maybe a cable modem, maybe I don't know, a mouse or something else, and that's it. If you're going to put uh, things that are going to be heavier. So you have to buy the, the other uh, trays that are maybe two, two units and that will hold more, more weight. And if you want something that is going to hold even more weight, you, that is the third option that I was talking about, is uh, you have the, the trays that are longer and they have two, two supports. So one in the front, I just yeah, use uh, so, and you have another one that is going to be in the very back. This is a very, very basic a rack, but the other ones, the 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 the, the ones that are enclosed, they have the support in the front, in the back, and then you can put you know way heavier heavier things than that. This is just for basic stuff like you see here, and that's it. And then let's talk about the um, the UPS here or the battery backup. So basically, if you want to keep everything running, even if you if there is an outage or anything like that, this is going to work for you. So basically, you have uh, two types of uh, UPSs or battery backups. You have the, the ones that are breakables like this. You can put it in the rack and that's it. And then you have the other ones that are uh, vertical. So usually those are, is, is, are going to stay on, on the floor. I prefer this because, you know, they, they're not going to be on the floor. This looks uh, much better. Also, uh, you have another option if you want to buy, you know, the, like they say, the third type of or UPS is the one that you can expand more and you, you can add a stacks of batteries so that way you have more, more runtime for everything. In this case, we don't have servers, it's just cable modem, a firewall, a switch, um, that's it. So this basically that is how uh, all the, or at least the basic uh, things that you can have in, in your rack to have everything up and running and without any hiccups. So if, if you have a server or something like that, it's not good that it's going to turn off by itself. So with this, uh, at least with APS, this, I like this uh, brand a lot. Uh, it comes with, a, you have two options. One, a USB, or you have the RJ45. So if you want to use the Ethernet cable, you can connect the data from the computer to this. So that way, if you have any outage, 
the computer will tell to, I mean, the, the battery, the battery backup or the UPS is going to tell the computer, hey, you have to shut down very soon because we are, <laughs> we have an outage. Um, maybe it's going to last maybe five minutes, 10 minutes or something like that. Also, you can get an email and everything. So if you have the USB port, you can use that. If you use the Ethernet, you can use that as, as well. So I like uh, those type of, of, of options. So as you can see here, uh, this type of uh, rack, uh, you have uh, four screws on the on the bottom, and uh, that is how you keep it in, in place. So this is not going anywhere. And uh, basically, we have uh, here the the tray. So the tray, if you are stressed, you can do some pull-ups here, and then um, you can relax. <laughs> no, it's a it's a joke. So let's do this. Uh, this, I mean, this is because it's kind of short. If it was uh, longer, I would not, you know, uh, do pull-ups uh, from here because it is going to, to break. But the good thing about uh, having a uh, trace uh, like this is, let's say, if you want to build another rack like this, but you want to put it here on this side, and you don't want to run, you know, cables uh, through the ceiling or anything like that. So you run all the cables through here and it's going to look uh, very nice. Also, if you have a big, a big uh, warehouse or something like that, and you don't want people, you know, to see all the, the wiring, if you have a tray, looks great. Also, if you have a data center, data, center, data centers, uh, usually they have all the trays and everything, so that way you can run everything and you don't have, you know, wires everywhere. Also, it's going to help you a lot uh, with, the, with the cable management. So if you have, you know, everything enclosed, like you see in that a pipe over there, so all the cables that you see over here, it, it goes uh, like that. So another thing that I forgot to mention with the patch panel. So some people, they don't want to use patch panel. They want to do it cheap. And instead of having all those cables going to the patch panel, it comes directly to the switch. The, the downside of that is if you have some issue, you know, the cable or the RSA45 gets damaged or something like that, you have to get the a, a, a crimping tool, and you have to terminate the the connector uh, all over again. In, in, uh, but the, the advantage is if you have a old a patch fan, a patch course, if something gets damaged or you have to unplug something, it's very easy. And if it gets damaged, you just throw it away, buy a new patch a patch cord, and that's it. So basically, that is how it works, and those are the advantages. So hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the section below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to learn more? So you can go to my YouTube channel, you go to the playlist here, and then you have classes, for instance, about Python. If you want to know how to install a, a solar panels or maybe to fix a computer or maybe how to become a computer technician, I mean, I have many classes about that. Thank you for watching. See you next time.